A Super Bowl appearance is a career dream for everyone involved in it, including the companies that create the commercial break entertainment. CBS 11's Brooke Rogers now with a behind the scenes look at the making of a Super Bowl ad and what to expect when you're watching this Sunday. Every commercial has a story behind it, and often the best ones are grounded in truth. You're drawing upon old memories, and you're trying to make it new, and you're trying to make it surprising. I am Bill Cochran, and I am the writer of this spot, Whale of a Tale. A stint at an amusement park spawned Bridgestone's Whale of a Tale, which aired during the 2010 Super Bowl. Bye, right, later, Come on, right. oh, Bobby, we can do this, man. The production and budget were significant. We had this incredible helicopter shot as they're driving down off the pier, and it was the unbelievable stunt work that allowed this driver to turn the, uh, the vehicle without going off the edge of the pier. I mean, just the whole thing is just exciting. As was the moment it aired. Very, very sweaty palms and, and nerves. It's actually emotional because it's sort of a uh, the one time you can tell your parents and everyone across the country and friends that, you know, I did that. Oh, oh no. Rod, you sent this email reply all. A year later, Cochran struck the Super Bowl jackpot again, this time with reply all. It was based on his own experience of an errant email meant for one recipient. He sent it to the entire agency. So I had my very distinct reply all moment. It was as low as you might expect. But relatability is an advertiser's secret sauce, and his blunder became a top 50 Super Bowl commercial of all time, according to Ad Age magazine. It's probably the spot I'm most proud of that I've ever done just because of how funny it is and how. Um, the story behind it. <laughs> SMU executive in residence and advertising expert Amber Benson thinks funny will be the buzzword this Super Bowl Sunday. I would expect to see a lot more humor this year. Advertisers know that we need a break. That said, I think we will see nods to the pandemic. Several Super Bowl stalwarts, including Budweiser, Coke, and Pepsi, are sitting on the sidelines this year when it comes to advertising. Benson says that creates space for Super Bowl newcomers. The people who kind of stepped in to fill that vacuum are people who have seen their business increase during the pandemic and decide that this is kind of the moment they need to take. And for all of those advertisers trying to score a Super Bowl touchdown, Bill Cochran remembers the feeling. It doesn't get much more exciting in terms of launching a spot because you know you will never have more eyeballs on something you've done than you will in that moment. Brooke Rogers, CBS 11 News.